everybody today i'm going to take a look at this my little pony plug and play and you can see this is a large plug and play runs on four double a batteries it has on off switch little light lights up tells me it's working you have three buttons they look like they kind of light up but they don't they do have a kind of a glittery look you got a purple a pink and a yellow button and a pause button and this nice size uh, joystick, which I hear some clicking, so it might have some micro switches inside, which means decent quality. It uses your standard RCA cables with the mono audio out. So let's go ahead and take the My Little Pony plug and play. Let's hook it up to my TV and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the games. The My Little Pony Grand Puzzle Venture Plug and Play was published by Milton Bradley and carries a copyright year of 2006. It originally came with a pony named Puzzlement, who may have been created just for the game. The manual opens with the following. Explore the colorful and exciting world of Ponyville through the eyes of Puzzlement. Play games and unlock secrets with some of your favorite pony pals, collecting puzzle pieces as you travel. Once you have all the pieces, you can build a giant puzzle for all of the ponies to enjoy. From the main screen, you can either start a new game at either easy or hard difficulty, select a save game from one of the three save slots, or access the options menu where you can adjust the volume of the music, the sound effects, and speech individually. The goal of the game is to guide puzzlement to different areas, gathering puzzle pieces, and then putting the pieces together. In order to pass an area and gain a piece, you must reach a certain score. Doing so not only gives you a piece of the puzzle, but it also opens up the next area, although you can always return to areas you've already passed if you want to play their games again. The first game is Twinkle Twirl's Dance Studio. This game is kind of like Dance Dance Revolution. Notes will come at you from four directions. You must move the joystick in the direction they are coming from before they pass the three bars and cost you points. You get the most points by hitting the note in the final bar before puzzlement. And you can even get bonuses for getting several notes in a row. The second game is So and So's Closet. Here you are shown three clothing items to wear to go with the season shown on the calendar, but one of them doesn't belong. Select the item that doesn't belong by pressing the button with the same color as the background of that item. You get more points for selecting it the first time, but the point value goes down every time you select a wrong item. The third game is Celebration Castle. Here you must find all the princessy items to fit in the empty spaces on the right. You can use the buttons to scroll up and down. You will also need to talk to Spike to access certain areas. In hard mode, the game has a time limit. Breezies can also take items back to where you found them. The fourth game is Breezy Blossom. In this game, items are hidden in flowers. To get them, simply press the color of the button that corresponds to the color of the flower that you think has an item. The fifth game is Butterfly Island. Here you try to catch a collection of butterflies. You can also find extra time and a cocoon to fill in an empty butterfly shape. The sixth game is Crystal Rainbow Castle, where you jump with the pink button. You need to touch enough of each color to fill a rainbow. Gray pieces take away some of the colors you already got, while gems will fill in some extra colors you need. At any point, you can return to Puzzlement's Cottage to fit the pieces you have. In hard mode, you will also have to rotate them. Once you finish the puzzle, you win the game, but you can return to the game and play any of the games you want again and again. High scores and progress is automatically saved as you play. Graphically speaking, the game looks pretty good, although fans of the current My Little Pony look might be put off by this version, which more resembles the look of the 1980s. The sounds and the music were well done, especially the voices, which I thought were fantastic. Family-friendly wise, this plug and play was made for ages four and up. At the time I researched on eBay and clean shipping, there was only one new copy that sold recently for $26. So what did I think of My Little Pony's Grand Puzzle Venture? Overall, I think this is a well-made plug and play for its target audience, but it's not perfect. There were a few times my buttons got stuck in the down position. And I think some of the games might be a little too hard for kids around the four-year-old starting point. It may have been better if they just had all the areas unlocked in the easy mode, so that if a kid couldn't pass one area, they could at least still play the other games. And let me tell you, hard was actually hard. On easy, I breezed through the game, but on hard, I tried the dance game and I got cooked. It seems you have to be perfect, but my joystick sometimes didn't respond, really hurting me. And the game doesn't tell you what score you need to reach to pass, which is a bummer. But this Despite my hard mode experience, overall the game controlled well and still could be enjoyed by Pony fans today. Usually at this time I rank the plug and play, but I don't usually rank plug and plays made for the preschool age since I'm not the target audience. And truthfully, I don't plan on playing this anymore myself. However, I will say this, 
For my girls, I think the Disney Princess Plug and Play I reviewed in episode 289 would be a better choice, as the games are easier to understand and you don't have to unlock anything, but they still would enjoy this one too. The My Little Pony Grand Puzzle Venture Plug and Play is well made, but the old style of ponies and having to unlock games might turn off some. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all my extraordinary Patreon supporters who voted for me to review this plug and play. Thank you all. If you'd like to support the show and gain access to exclusive content, you could do so by signing up at patreon.com slash nosweargamer starting at a single dollar a month. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Noswear Gamer. Take care, everybody, and catch those butterflies.